Okay, so this is a pain in the butt. You need to like actually have the actual like web address uh, for the Clear Sky Institute. You need to be on 32-bit uh, Raspberry Pi OS. Uh, I don't know if this thing is going to retain um, my bookmarks. Um, it's really hard to... Um, uh, it's, it's, it's hard for me to to do much with this because I have to be um, switching the keyboard and the mouse back and forth on the USB. Okay. My bookmark's over here. I'm waiting for this thing to respond. There we go. It's super, super, super slow. You have to be very careful. Don't have more than two tabs open. Probably just one tab uh, because you might make the thing crash. I don't know if it's actually trying to open the thing or not, um, but looks like uh, my mouse has kind of crashed anyway. Uh, I see the address up in the top box. So basically, you need to get to this website, and you need to get it full size, and you need to wait for it to load. Uh, there is an icon down here where it says test top, and we can come over here and click that really fast. It might save us the trouble of it having to load all this complicated crap on this page. It's a lot of work for this little browser. <coughs> so, uh, it says now available as a turnkey system from Verdium Research, rebranded as HF Clock Direct. Or in Europe from Lutz Electronics. And then you have the Nevada Quadra. I don't know why this page is not opening. Um, they're probably stuck because the page is doing its thing. Um, I need to click on the desktop. Because that's what it, where the code is. It's on desktop. Okay, I think it's opening. I'm not sure. As soon as it opens another page, we need to make sure that we close out the second page because this thing might crash. Okay, we're on the page that has our code. Uh, I don't see my mouse. It's going to be really tough to try and highlight this. Um, I'm trying to remember, do I need to right-click it? Or left-click it? It's not highlighting. I'm not sure. You, you really, it, it, it's so hard to do anything. I'm going to step back and come back in a second. Okay, I was able to copy it, best I can tell. Let's try it again. Copy. Okay. We need to close the browser. We're absolutely imperative we close this browser. Okay. Now that it's closed, we'll try and open the terminal. Which is also quite slow on this piece of junk. I honestly would not recommend using this. Um, it's just very frustrating. I've already spent quite a bit of time tonight. Okay. And for whatever reason... And wait for it to paste. I'm not able to uh, type it into the terminal how it looks when you copy it. I, I don't know what the reason is. Um, so it's still not doing anything. We'll try it again. Okay. 
Okay. We're just gonna have to God, I'm turn this camera. We're just gonna have to wait and see. And you're gonna say, this thing is such a pain. You're not gonna believe this. It seriously pasted nothing, did not work. Man, I finally got the stupid thing to paste. And now I have to switch <coughs> the keyboard to the mouse. Click enter, I guess. Alright. I don't know if that works. Doesn't seem to work. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, as long as nothing goes wrong... Boy, what a pain. Now I've got to go a yes, enter. Okay. Boy, what a pain. Good Lord. This is really, really difficult to do on this pie. Um, <coughs> that we'll see if it works or not. Okay, I'm going to try closing the browser if my mouse will move. I'd, I'd actually really like to freaking bookmark this thing, but... As long as it works, shouldn't shouldn't matter. <coughs> Man, I am so tired of being sick. Can we just close the damn browser? Oh man, this is this experience to me is worse than using the slowest computer ever. All right, so I finally got the browser to close. That took forever. Uh, looks like I have more than one uh, terminal open. I'm not even going to try and mess with that. But yeah, this is very frustrating. It's not very easy. I've been working on this for a couple of hours. And now I don't know if it's even working anyway because it looks kind of like it's froze. Anyway. I would say double your money by a Pi 3B, and uh, man, I, I think uh, probably going to be a lot easier. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, we, uh, it says build for web access only, no hardware display. I'm going to click no. That. So. Here we go. This is the biggest problem. You don't have enough USBs on this thing. You have to switch. I'm having to switch. Okay, is that the right one? Yeah, but the N isn't showing up. Okay, there we go. It's so laggy. It's so damn laggy. I mean, that's like the biggest problem. Okay, now I've got to go. Uh, this one, can I go two? Okay. So 1600 by 960 is the resolution. Um, so you have these two choices, 800 by 480. Yeah, so... I don't know if that's based on my monitor that's hooked to it. So now it's going to sit here. It'll take a while to do this. Um, but yeah, I mean, it should be successful, but who knows? Maybe it might not run right. Okay, so it asked me, do I want to install a desktop icon? Yes. 
Still use your guide? Yes. Oop, I forgot I got music on. Uh, start ham clock automatically each time five is booted. Yes. You may run ham clock now by typing ham clock. Alright. Let's see. So, uh, we need to do call sign. The last time I checked, it was like not letting me change it. Um, and don't know. Uh, Okay. Okay. Here we go. Enter. Gives me an error. All right, I need to change the mouse. It's probably. We do. W seven F U Grid D M Thirty-four. It should be done. Of course, W seven F U is a fictitious call sign. Um, ready in five seconds. It says. All right. Okay. There is the damn ham clock. Running on a Pi Zero. Now we did it. Okay. So, a real pain in the butt. Yep, for sure. Um, but it beats having to sit here and run a Pi 3. Um, I'm running on a battery bank actually right now. So... Now, if I could find a way to quickly do this, maybe I could copy the card, uh, and then I could maybe find a place where I could buy these cheap and then resell them, so that way somebody else could just want, a lot of guys don't, they don't want to do all this stuff, so you could just buy, um, the, the ham clock ready to go, um, I don't know if there would be a way to actually do it, um, with uh it it fully installed i i don't know if there's a way to have it fully installed it's it's got to have somebody's call sign in there so you'd have to like uh just put a generic call sign in there so you know generic grid square and then somebody else would come in later on and you'd go and change it like you could you can change this i think i'm not 100 percent sure maybe you can't Um, quick, okay. Cancel. Also, if you click over here, it'll change the color of it. And click over here. I don't know. There was another way to change. The other background or something. Yeah, see that? We could do that. And then... Everything else, you can just, you know, configure on your own. Um, let me see here. I don't care about that. I don't know what this VOA CAP is. Get me out of this damn thing. Okay, 
And I want here, um, I want live spots. And I don't want this VOC. Click OK. And then, whoa, what the hell is going on, guys? Um, I haven't ever seen that. We might have uh, Aurora. Is that what it's showing? Holy crap. Um, let me... I don't know. It looks like Aurora. Let me select this one. You gotta remember, everything's gonna be, like, really, really laggy. So what you do is you right-click on these. Okay, we want... Um, Aurora and X-ray on the same one. Yeah, um, that's Aurora. It's a 74% chance of Aurora. If you go outside and you use your camera, you might be able to get a picture of it. Okay, we had our live spots and we've got our Aurora. Um, and I'm trying to remember how I had... Uh, I had actually changed this one too. Um, we had... Uh, On the air and contest, and we don't want DE. Right, well, I'm just going to click OK. All right. No, I don't want that. I don't know why does it keep doing that. Okay, these are always like you have to click some specific place. Well, I'm not sure what it was. Not doing anything. Cancel. No, it doesn't do it. Um, come on. Okay. Data. I want on the air. I don't want calendar. Oh, here we go. On the air. Contest. Click OK. So look at this seat. That gets rid of all that crap that I don't care about. So you have on the air and contest here. Shows you all these people that are on the air. Um, so that's about it for me, guys. So that it works, it's cool, it's a pain in the butt. You need to use 32 bit, just keep it in mind. Catch you guys later.